Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using C programming language. The program must accept an integer n and n integers as input and it must print the unique unit digits of those n integers in descending order. The program must accept an integer n and n integers as input and it must print the unique unit digits of those n integers in descending order. Now let us consider for our test case. In this test case n is equal to 8 and these are the 8 integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. First we have to find the unit digit of these 8 integers. So unit digit which is equal to we have to find the unit digit of these 8 integers. Unit digit of first integer is 4, second integer is 8, third integer is 0, fourth integer is 7, fifth integer is 8, sixth integer is 2, for seventh integer it is 9, also for the 8th integer it is also 9. So these are the unit digits. Next we have to find the unique unit digit. Digits. Now the unique unit digits are 4, 8, 0, 7, 8 is already written so it should not be repeated. So 2 and 9. 9 is also repeated one time, so only one 9. So these are the unique unit digits. Now we have to print this unique unit digits in descending order. So 9, 8, 7, 4, 2, 0 will be printed as our output. Now let us consider for our second test case. In this test case we are having n is equal to 5. We are having 5 integers here. So let us find the unit digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 integers. So the unit digit of first integer is 3, for second integer also 3 and for the third integer it is 3, also for the fourth integer it is 3 and finally for the fifth integer it is 1. So next we have to find the unique unit digits which is nothing but 3 and 1. So 3 and 1 and the descending order of a unique unit digit is 31 which will be printed as our output. Now let us see how to implement this. First we must implement a function get unique unit digits which accepts array arr and size and return a char array with unique unit digits in descending order. We must implement a function called get unique unit digits which accepts array and size and return a char array with unique unit digits in descending order. Now let us implement our logic in C. This is the main function which accepts an integer and array of n integers. 
and tar star str equal to we get unique unit digits of n comma arr which is nothing but the function is defined here char star and finally we are printing the unique unit digits as this is a char star function we have to allocate memory so char star of unique unit digits equal to mlloc of size of as it is a character so size of char times size now let us uh, declare a array called digits so int int digits digits of 10 here digits of 10 is nothing but it contains from 0 to 9 which is initialized as 0 initially so int digits of 10 equal to 0 next uh, let us run a for loop for the array for int index equal to 0 index less than size index plus plus in this for loop uh, we have to check for the unit digit int of let us put uh, digits digits of arr of index modulo 10 plus plus for each unit digit uh, it will iterate for occurring time which will be stored in digit array next let us assign the unique unit digits so first let us initialize uh, index so int index equal to 0 and let us run uh, another for loop for the digits for int num is equal to 9 where num is greater than equal to 0 num minus minus and we have to check for the condition whether digit of num is not equal to 0 so we can use uh, if here so if digit of num so let us write uh, check whether digits of num is not zero if it is not zero means we have to assign the assign unique unit digits of index plus plus to the num here the unique unit digit is a character array and the num is integer so for converting this num to character we have to add plus zero which will convert integer to character finally we have to return the unique unit digits first we are running the for loop and checking the unit digit and adding it to the digits of 10 and finally we are running a for loop and checking whether the digits of num is not equal to 0 and if it is not equal to 0 means then we are assigning it to the unique unit digits and finally we are returning the unique unit digits